I'm Sir Oliver, your online math tutor. Hello mga kamathmates! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Kung hindi ka pa subscribe ay mag-subscribe ka na. Panibagong video, panibagong topic na naman ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon tungkol sa functions. What you will learn today is to define a function. Differentiate a function from a relation. And determine whether a relation is a function through vertical line test. So let's start. So let us understand what is a function. So we have here a problem entitled running faucet. So do you know that a running faucet can waste about 15 liters of water per minute? So kung baga yung 15 liters ay napakalaking halaga na ng tubig na naaaksayan natin kapag naiwan natin bukas yung gripo. That is for per minute. No, sa isang minuto, 15 liters ng water yung naaaksaya. So kaya kailangan natin maging responsable sa pagpatay ng mga gripo kapag ito ay hindi na ginagamit. So, the table shows the relationship between the number of minutes the water runs, that is X, and the number of liters of water wasted. So, therefore, there is a relationship existing between the two. Yung number of minutes the water runs, at saka yung the number of liters of water wasted. So, that is our variable x and variable y. So, we have here a table. Ayan. So, ito yung number of minutes x. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And then, yung number of liters. So, 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, and 90 liters. So, meaning, for 1 minute, equivalent to 15 liters. So, 2 minutes, equivalent to 30 liters. So, guide questions, make a graph that shows the relationship between these quantities. So, use the graph to estimate the water wasted in 10 minutes. Suppose 180 liters of water were wasted, how many minutes was the faucet left running? And last, if you are given the number of minutes the water runs, how can you find the number of liters of water that is wasted? So that's the time that we are going to use a formula. For example, we're going to graph the given problem. So that will be our first ordered pair, 1, 15. So meaning, 1 minute, you have 15 liters water wasted. Then you have 2, 30, 3, 45, 4, 60, 5, 75, and 6, and 90. So, ni lang natin lahat ng given ordered pairs doon sa ating table kanina. And then, And then, we can connect the points. Kung mababansin nyo, pwede pang mag-extend yung ating line. So, the order pairs are plotted on the graph and the line is extended to estimate the, wa the wasted water in 10 minutes. So, if we are going to extend the line since ang given lang ay 6 minutes, how about in 10 minutes? So, kung baga, napakadami ng liters of water yung mga wasted natin. So, that is 10, 150 liters in 10 minutes kapag naiwan natin bukas yung gripo. So, kumbaga, napakalaking uh, tubig na. Amount ng tubig na ang masasayang. And we use estimation using the graph. Kung mababansin, the slope of the graph is positive. So, to find the number of liters of water wasted, given the number of minutes the water runs, we write y equals to 15x. So, we can use the formula y equals to 15x. So, we just multiply it each minute by 10. For example, we have here, we have 10 minutes. So, we need to multiply. So, 10 minutes times 15. So, therefore, there are 150 liters of water being wasted. Again, pwede natin gamitin yung formula. 
when the value of the variable y depends on the value of a variable x, when y is a dependent variable and x is an independent variable. So therefore, in our formula that is called the function notation, nakadepende daw yung y doon sa x. Of course, mas madaming minutes na naiwang bukas yung gripo, mas malaki yung amount in liters ng water na masasayang. Okay? So therefore, what is a function? A function is a rule that pair each element in one set called the domain which exactly one element from the second set called the range. Okay, so let's have example 1. In the function y equals to 2x minus 5, calculate the value of y when... So, we just evaluate the given function. Katulad ng ginawa natin kanina na y equals to 15x. So, we can evaluate that, for example, your x is 10. So, therefore, your y is 150 liters. So, ganito rin yung gagawin natin. So, we're in ang given natin ay x equals to negative 2, b x equals to 0, and c x equals to positive 9. Okay, let's start with when x equals to negative 2, we have our equation, function notation y equals to, to x minus 5. We just substitute x as negative 2, then multiply. y equals to 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 minus 5. And then like sign add, then copy the sign. So for negative 4 minus 5 is negative 9. Therefore, when x is negative 2, your y is negative 9. So, the ordered pair is negative 2, negative 9. So, when x is 0, so we just substitute x as 0. So, that is 2 times 0 minus 5. y equals 2 times 0 is 0 minus 5. Our answer is y equals to negative 5. So, therefore, the ordered pair is 0 negative 5. So, when x is 0, y equals to negative 5. Last, when x equals to 9, we just substitute x as 9. So, that is 2 times 9 is 18 minus 5. So, y equals to 18 minus 5 is 13. So, therefore, our answer is 13. When x equals to 9, y equals to 13. So, that's how we evaluate the given function notation. So, we have relations and functions. Every function is a relation, but not every relation is a function. So, hugot na hugot tayo dito. So, sabi daw, hindi daw lahat ng relasyon ay nagpa-function. Agree ba kayo doon? So, example 2, which of the following relation is our function or functions? So, aalamin daw natin kung ano daw mga relasyon or ano mga relation, rather... <laughs> Sa ating mga example, ang tinatawag nating functions at alin naman ang hindi considered functions or not functions. So, ang ibibigay natin example ay through mapping. For example, example A, we have the domain 2 and 3. Our range Y is 2, 3, 4. Then, 2 corresponds to, 3 corresponds 3, 3 corresponds 4. So, that is our first Example. Next, our domain is 5 and 6, and then our range is 25. 5 corresponds 25, 6 corresponds 25. Then for our last example, so our domain is 5 and 8, our range is 10 and 16. So 5 corresponds 10, and 8 corresponds 16. So, aalamin natin sa tatlong example na to, alin ba ang function at alin ang hindi function. And those examples are relations through mapping. Okay. Ngayon, let us identify the kind of relation being exhibited by each of the following mapping. So, dun muna tayo sa una. That is one to many. So, why one to many? Because there is a repeated x na ulit yung value ni x which is yung 3. How about b? Many to 1. Na ulit naman yung 25 which is our range. So that is many to 1 and for our last, that is 1 to 1. So let's have the solution for that. So the 1 to 1 and many to 1 relation satisfy the definition of a function. A 1 to many relation is not a function since a value of x is mapped more than one value. 
So, meaning, ang kind of relation na function is one-to-one -one and many-to-one based on the definition of a function. Kailangan daw, meron siyang unique value of x. So, therefore, there will be no repeated value for x para masabi natin ang given relation ay function. So, last, vertical line test. If a vertical line crosses the graph of a relation in more than one point, the relation cannot be a function. If no vertical line crosses the graph in no more than one point, then the graph is a graph of a function. So, ito naman ay through graphing nagagamit tayo ng vertical line test. Okay, so let's have an example. State whether each of the following graph represents a function. So, we have here a graph. So, kung mababansin nyo, yung graph natin ay yung pa-slant na line and then yung ating red vertical line that will be our vertical line test. And then, kung mababansin nyo, one point of intersection. So, therefore, it is a graph of a function base doon sa definition. Okay, we have here another graph, nag-drawing ng vertical line, then one point of intersection lang, isang point lang yung tinamaan. So, therefore, it is a graph of a function. Last, kung mababansin, nung nag-drawing ng vertical line, intersecting at two points, so therefore, it is not a graph of a function. So, tatandaan lang na kapag graph, kapag gumamit ang vertical line test at nag point tayo ng vertical line, kapag exactly one point lang ang tinamaan ng line, therefore that is a function. Kapag two or more points or intersecting points, so therefore it is not a function. So that would be all for our video tutorial. So I hope that you learned something. Don't forget to like and share it with your friends and classmates. So thanks for watching. So God bless us all.